Uh, thanks, everybody. I'm, I'm really happy I get the opportunity to go last year. Um, and I've been sitting here listening to everybody speak and, and thinking, wow, that's me. That's me, too. That's me, too. Um, but what I'm really struck by is, I'm, and I'm feeling kind of, you know, I've known these people, or a lot of these people I've known for a really long time. Uh, and and uh, I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic about the trajectory that we've followed that puts us right back up on this, this stage. I, I, I remember although Max won't. I remember being in law school and, and, uh, and having a practice round for the VIS competition that, that he uh, arbitrated for. Um, I remember when Vioso was 19. Um, <laughs> I, remember, I remember that summer in Kosovo with Katarina. I remember Lizzie's typhoid malaria thing pretty well. Um, and uh, and what, I, what I really note is the, um, the serendipity that's involved in all of this. And, and I've been thinking about that a lot lately, particularly with the career path that I've chosen. And I think I'm also happy that I've bookended um, with, with Chuck here, that Chuck went first and I'm going to go last because I think there's some interesting interactions here. Um, but I want to read you a quote first. Uh, one of my favorite photographers, is uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson, um, and, uh, and he was a great, really sort of a spontaneous portrait photographer. He went all over the world and took these wonderful pictures of people. Um, and he had such a wonderful way of capturing not only his subject, but the rapport that he had developed between himself and his subject. And so the surrealist poet André uh, Breton um, uh, once wrote of Cartier-Bresson's style of making and then capturing a relationship uh, as this, and I'm quoting here, actually it's quite true that he's not waiting for anyone since he's not made an appointment. But the very fact that he's adopting this ultra, ultra receptive posture means that by this he wants to help chance along. How should I say, put himself in a state of grace with chance so that something might happen, so that someone might drop in. And it's this state of grace with chance that I think has driven my career, um, and in some ways, you know, everybody else is up here. Um, nobody really expected to be where they where they are. Um, I started out, uh, you know, I didn't come from from. I envy people like Max, um, who who had the opportunity to come from a family that traveled a lot. Um, you know, I grew up here in Pittsburgh, and. Uh, uh, and I always wanted to travel. I just didn't really know how. And so, so uh, as Marco Gardini reminded me this morning, after after grad school, I um, I wanted to be a journalist. I'd studied journalism. So so I just you know I popped off to India, and uh, and because that's as Marco said, that was I had told I'd said that's where the news was. Um, and I was not a great journalist. It, it, I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but I wanted something more. Um, and so in any case, to make the long story very short, uh, I went into law school knowing that I wanted something broad, something big, and something international. Uh, and over time, uh, I got that. And I had the opportunity, thanks to, to Ron Brand, I had a, the wonderful opportunity to work with the State Department programming that, uh, that, that Pitt Law um, was awarded working with schools in Ukraine uh, and Serbia and Kosovo. Um, and, uh, and so I had a great experience working with that. Um, about 10 years ago, um, I left uh, to go to a company called Booz Allen Hamilton I, um, with the great opportunity to go to Ethiopia um, first to do something that uh, I'll get a reaction out of Lizzie when I say this, first to do something called BizClear um, and, uh, and then later to be the, the project director, what we call uh, in the development industry the chief of party on a WTO accession project for Ethiopia. Ethiopia has been in the endless pursuit of WTO accession. Uh, and I was there to help the Ministry of Industry, Ministry of Trade and Industry prepare for its WTO accession. Um, and so I helped analyze trade laws. I analyzed, I helped I helped uh, draft their papers, their their submissions to the WTO Working Party uh, on areas as broad as intellectual property, uh, trade and services of tourism, tour, tourism services, all sorts of things across a broad spectrum. 
I did that for about three years. Uh, then went to Kosovo again um, and worked on a project there for about three years uh, in uh, working in the business enabling environment uh, component of a big private sector development project there that was also run by Booz Allen Hamilton. I left Booz Allen uh, uh, almost five years ago and uh, joined a company called Nathan Associates, which is actually a very old economics firm in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's actually now the oldest development firm in the business. Uh, and uh, and we work mostly on U.S. government contracts, U.S. aid primarily, uh, some others as well, uh, occasionally um, uh, contracts with other donors, uh, the World Bank, uh, we have a London office, we have an India office, and we work on U.K. funding, some direct-to-government funding in, in India. Uh, we work on Asian Development Bank sorts of programming. And my, my job is to run one of the practices. I run the legal and regulatory practice within the, the firm of Nathan Associates. Um, uh, as I said, Nathan, Nathan Associates is, a, is an economics firm. Uh, it does economic analysis. It does fiscal policy. Uh, it does, uh, uh, we do a lot of trade analysis. Um, our core functionality is the actual numbers crunching that economists do. Uh, but then economists, uh, as we've been as we've talked about uh, uh, outside this venue a couple of times this morning, uh, economists are very deeply involved in the development uh, uh, landscape and economic growth uh, programming around the world. I'm lucky enough to remain working in the legal, on the legal and regulatory side, so I, I have been working lately mostly in Southeast Asia. Um, I'm working on... Uh, 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 right now, working on some uh, a new mobile payments law for Myanmar, which is really exciting because it gives us the opportunity uh, to work uh, both with the the government structures that are putting the law into place, but also the private sector, uh, the ICT, the in Information Communications Technology sector, uh, and helping them develop. Uh, an understanding of the law so that they can start building software programming that uh, can that can rely on the new mobile payments law. Um, as I said before, I'm kind of happy that I bookended with Chuck because Chuck mentioned his interest in his work in investment treaty arbitration. I, I like to think that one of the reasons that we have uh, an incredible growth in investment treaty arbitration is because, of course, we have a big growth in investment in the first place. Uh, Investor-state uh, relationships have grown dramatically over the past several years. And one of the reasons for that is because I believe the development community has been fairly successful. Uh, I don't remember the statistics. I looked them up recently. Uh, and uh, But a significant percentage of the investor state arbitrations uh, over the past five years have been with developing countries. Uh, and it is a pretty astounding figure. And the, and the dollar figures that are involved are, like, astronomical. I think they still humble Chuck and I. Uh, um, but uh, this is something that we work with pretty closely, and I work with both Laos and Myanmar uh, on, on new arbitration laws. And, uh, and their uh, understanding of arbitration and their ability to... Uh, uh, understand their obligations under something called the New York Convention, uh, which is why one of the reasons we have arbitration in the first place, because these awards that are rendered become enforceable, recognizable and enforceable in the countries in which they, uh, in which the, the, uh, the losing party uh, resides. Um, and, uh, and I think that this is all really exciting. And I, um, I'm, I'm so happy lately to be working um, with Chuck on some of this stuff and, and bringing all of this full circle and, and having great opportunities to meet up with my colleagues. And so let me just come back to that one more time, uh, the importance of listening, first of all, to everything that you've learned here and you've, you've heard from these people because I think it's all so true. Uh, but also, again, just put yourself in that state of grace with chance um, and learn from it and, and prepare yourself for whatever comes down the road because none of us up here expected, uh, expected what came to us. Thank you. <laughs>